Hey guys, how you doing Eric? So got cigars here. So I got to thinking, partially based on yesterday's video where I reviewed that Padron Anniversary Series 1964. I noticed it's a box press. And I noticed a lot of the cigars that I like are box press. Like for example, looking at the Acid line, where the Cuba Cuba is their, is their most popular cigar, there's a box press version of that called the Deep Dish, which I've mentioned before and reviewed. And uh, I've told you that for some reason, even though I know it's the same blend, it just seems different. It tastes different. It draws different. It smokes different. Uh, it's way more pleasurable. If I had a Cuba Cuba sitting there and if I had a deep dish sitting there, I'm going to grab that deep dish every single time. And I know it's because it's a box press. So I started to think, you know, am I just noticing this? What's the deal behind the whole box press thing? And so I did a little research, and uh, ironically, the cigar I picked to do yesterday's uh, video with was that Padron 64. That was actually done in the 1990s, when there was apparently a, a big resurgence in the cigar world, and uh, Padron decided to do that cigar as a 30th anniversary um, celebratory stick. And they chose to do a box press, and it was so wildly popular that a lot of other companies started to follow suit and started producing more box press cigars than they had previously. Um, but the box pressing goes way back, way back to, to Cuba. So they, they aren't exactly 100% sure how this came about. There's a lot of theories. Um, but everyone feels pretty secure that it's based in Cuba. So one of the theories is this, that when they would roll the cigars and they were still really high in moisture content and they would pack them into a box that over time they would start to take on a less round shape and a more rectangular shape and it was from being compressed in the box because they were trying to fit as many as they could into, a, into a, the smallest packages they could for ease of shipping thus the term box pressed and so they think that that's one of the one of the possibilities is that it was really not done on purpose it was just <clears throat> coincidental based on the packaging and it, the box itself was pressing the cigars and making them into more of a rectangular shape than round. Um, there's other theories that it was done on purpose and one one so because uh, there's two routes to go here one is there's a there's one called a trunked cigar and that's where they specifically made it rectangular very deliberately because it was uh, up to a 12 hour pressing that they would put them in these wood wooden like jigs and they would press the cigar down and then they'd flip them and press them again i mean it was hours and hours and hours of to get to force the cigars into this box to shape um another theory was that they that that people were having the idea to make them so they wouldn't roll off a, a surface for example um it was a big deal like on on ships because a lot of cigars were smoked on ships back in the day and if you had a round cigar they were rolling all over the place if you set them down and so if you had the a square more square shape they wouldn't roll and um there's even like a very famous cigar book by some like a cigar aficionado guy that that he mentioned that as well that he likes a box press cigar because whenever he takes he'll take two hits off his cigar and then he sets it down and he doesn't have to worry about it rolling off the table um so that that's kind of a sort of basic rundown of sort of the history of it so again to kind of capsulize it you know put it all together it it either happened by chance because the box was pressing them and it wasn't really intentional or someone came up with the idea that they would either stack easier they would ship tighter they wouldn't roll as easily off of a surface um, so that's that's kind of the difference things that I read but we'll go into more because there is a lot to be said about um, what the effect of smoking a, a box press cigar has on the on the experience so what I did <coughs> excuse me it is really windy out and my allergies are going haywire um, so I picked it I just went and grabbed a cigar out of my one of my humidors it's a five Vegas it's the it's what they call their cast strength the 5v and it is a box press cigar so let's go ahead and open this up and I'm going to show you what this looks like and I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the box press cigar but not everybody is so as you can see 
it is not round, okay? This is a rectangularly shaped cigar. I'm trying to get where you can kind of see it really good against that wall, maybe. So if you see, this thing has definitely got four distinct sides to it. It is definitely not round, okay? And this has a, kind of a torpedo shape. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and light this one up. We'll take the band off the end. We'll discard that. Let me get my uh, bag of tricks here. And we will cut this thing. Now here's one thing that I wanted to, to mention right away. Because I did see a lot of people debating on whether you were able to cut a box press cigar with a V-cutter. And with almost little exception, everyone says absolutely. It's a great way to cut um, a box press cigar. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there. See, that makes a nice little little V cut in that, and it's. It, I didn't tell you, I dig it. I think this combination with a, a V cut and a box press cigar is fantastic. <coughs> so, initial draw. I'm, I'm telling you. Coincidence, maybe? I don't know. But I'm just telling you. I've never had a box press cigar yet that had a tight draw on it. I've only ever had a round cigar. That being said, I'm sure that I smoke a lot more round cigars than, than box press cigars, so I think maybe it's just a number, a, a numbers game, right? The odds. But, I gotta say, it's just kind of what it is. So let me see how I can do in this wind here. It is really windy in my new uh, location. I mean really windy. I don't know if you can, I got a little dead cat. If you know what that is, I'll show you actually. This is called a dead cat. This is on my microphone. It's supposed to stop noise from wind. So hopefully that's working. So I guess we could sort of review the cigar too. Is this actually five Vegas, I'll tell you. It's a really good beginner cigar. You can get them fairly inexpensive. In fact, if you go to Cigars International, they have they always have these mega packs, right? Where you can get the five Vegas gold, and it'll, or you can get the cask one, or they have series where there'll be like literally 25 cigars, all Vegas gold, but all their different series. And it's a real, I got one of those at the beginning. My uh, uh, Connie and Moose, my uh, sister and, and brother-in-law, uh, I think they're actually the ones that turned me on to buy the five Vegas gold because they would always buy the big mega pack when you're getting like 25 cigars and it's not that expensive and they're decent cigars I would say for a beginner these are actually fantastic cigars to, in, to invest in is the five biggest okay check those out this one's a little stronger because it's a Maduro it's their cast strength cask strength and I just believe that sort of means it's a Maduro I'll look it up I'll put the specs down below so you can see what this is I'm smoking and all the characteristics of it Yeah, it's a strong, it's a strong cigar. I mean, the cast strength one. You can taste that. It's a pretty heavy Maduro. You can taste the oils in it. I can actually feel it in the back of my throat. Not the smoothest cigar on the planet, but again, I would really rate this as a beginner to an intermediate cigar. But here's what I've noticed. Okay, there's a, there's several things I want to talk about on this. In the in the respect of being a box press cigar. One, and other people did talk about this as well, is mouthfeel. I will tell you flat out, you know, when I when I investigated women in cigar smoking, and uh, a lot of the women that I talk to that, that um, don't like smoking regular cigars, but they'll tend to smoke like the black and milds with the little wooden or plastic tip, <coughs> they almost overwhelmingly, part of the problem that they cited was they didn't like the feeling of the tobacco in their mouth. They felt much better with like the plastic tip or that wooden tip like on, on one of those little pre-rolls. And then they would smoke them, which is actually pipe tobacco like the Black and Milds. Um, but that was one of the reasons they would cite that they didn't like smoking regular cigars is because they didn't like the way it felt having the tobacco to their lips. And uh, to me, I, <clears throat> I like that. 
I don't mind that at all. I mean, it's not that you like it or don't like it. I just that doesn't bother me. But I'll tell you, when you have a box press cigar, a lot of people that I read about online that were putting in their comments about uh, the shape of a cigar, one of the number one things they talked about is they liked the way it felt in their mouth and they liked the way they could hold it in their hand because it w wasn't round. It gave them like a, a a better purchase of where to hold the cigar, right? I mean, it really does, it just, it doesn't, it's never like in a different position. You're always knowing where it is, especially <clears throat> compared to the way you cut it, because I could have cut it this way or this way, but I cut it this way. So I kind of like that I know when I'm holding the cigar, I know where it's going to be. I know where that's cut, that cut's going to be. And I'll tell you, I like it. If this is the top of the cigar, I like the cut to be this direction, not this way. Because that, the way that it, you almost feel like you feel like you're able to, to put your lips around it in a way to really seal it up and get a, a good draw. I'm not sure why, but that just seems to be what I'm experiencing. Which is funny because you think a round shape would be easier, but it's not if you notice the way your mouth is shaped. It tapers off as this sort of tapers off. So it actually, I mean, what a weird conversation we're having, but... I'm just telling you, that's what I'm noticing. And a lot of people mimic that exact same thing. They like the way it felt to smoke versus a round cigar. I just have to say I agree. Um, so another thing I noticed. <clears throat> there was three characteristics that were mentioned repeatedly and avidly. And from people that are in the know, like aficionados uh, the, in the cigar world. They mentioned three things. They said... As far as uh, advantages to a box press, one they said that the the way the leaves are are wound in the cigar when it's this shape changes the 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 way the air comes through the cigar, so you get a better air to smoke mixture, if that makes sense. And I found that to be as accurate. I've noticed that myself. The other thing that that apparently causes, when you get that easier airflow, it tends to cool the tobacco. So the smoke is cooler and you're not going to get a more bitter cigar because the, uh, the smoke is staying cooler. And they're saying that that also, those two things in, in, in conjunction with each other hit the third point, which they're saying you get a much more even flavor out of it and more consistent flavor out of it than you do a round cigar. Whether this is true, I don't know, but enough people are saying it to where there's got to be something to it, right? And again, I've noticed it myself. That's why I know I gravitate to these more than I would a round cigar if it's, if a selection is in front of me. I'll always grab a box press. So on this cigar, what I'll tell you is, <clears throat> like I said, beginner, intermediate leaning towards beginner there's not a ton of flavor in the cigar it's flavorful in the fact that it's a maduro it's a dark a darker cigar and then you can taste there's oil in it but you're not getting a ton of like far as the profile goes or as far as the the notes and, and aromas and flavors I'm getting I'm actually struggling to pull stuff out of it And I'm actively retrohaling, trying to get it. And I'd say all I'm getting is, I'm getting probably, if I had to, because <clears throat> I'm not getting anything that's profound, like jumping out at me, like you're, oh, totally taste this. I would have to say what I am getting might be kind of a heavy woody flavor. A little bit of a peppery note, a little spicy. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of a not bitter, but close. In my, like, the aftertaste. I'm getting a little bit of a bitter flavor to it, but not bad. It's more, I'd say it's leaning more towards peppery than bittery, but I'm also not into peppery cigars. So I may not be the best judge on that, because to me, peppery almost seems bitter, but some people like that. So yeah, I'd say this is, <clears throat> this is a heavier, woody, spicier cigar. So if that's your gig, you'll like this. 
Um, not really my gig, but on the other hand, it's not like I'm not enjoying it either. It's still a decent stick, for, especially for what it is, because you can get, the like I said, the price is pretty low on these, especially when you get them in a bundle from like CI. But that's really all I wanted to do, it just kind of wasn't so much as a review on this cigar as it was the whole box press idea. <clears throat> and I would definitely say that that uh, if I have the choice between, uh, like, because uh, this happens a lot, someone will open their, their little travel humidor and they'll say, hey, pick a cigar. I would pretty much pick a box press if there's one in there over most other cigars, um, unless there's just some killer cigar in there. <clears throat> but all cigars being fairly equal, I would probably grab the box press. But I really do think there's something to be said about that. I, like I said, I've never had a box press plug up. I've never had a ream one. I've never um, really had a bad roll on them. They're all pretty, pretty good. Um, I think something there's there is something to be said about when the cigar is compressed into this shape. It op it probably opens up some of the outside parts of the roll, and so that you do get more air coming through. And I, I think that's that's accurate. That makes a lot of sense. And I can feel that when you draw on this, the the, the draw is so smooth and so even, and the mixture of smoke and, and air is so balanced that it's it's really good. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I would definitely recommend this. And you know it's kind of cool. And here's something you, you might want to do just for, just for the fun of it. Like I said, the acid line, the Cuba Cuba, and the deep dish. They're parallel cigars to each other. I think they're the same blend. They're just a different shape. You can do that in these as well. Because the Five Vegas series, and a lot of series of cigars, they, um, they have these box press ones but they also have round so you could definitely get pretty much the same exact cigar box pressed and round and it'd be interesting for you guys to, to try that you know even if you're having like a little cigar party you know buy because they're not that expensive buy some five five vegas and uh, get some rounds and get some box pressed and let everyone try both and see what you think um some people will argue that the flavor is different maybe I gotta say, between smoking a Cuba Cuba and a deep dish, the deep dish does seem to taste better to me. But I think that's I think that's solely due to the balance of the smoke and the air coming through the cigar. I really think that's what that is. So I do I do give some credibility to that. I think it's true. And far as this goes, the cigar I've had this. <clears throat> several times. Um, it's not going to change a whole lot, so I don't really want to waste your time and do a complete review on this cigar. I'll just tell you that for a beginner, the Five Vegas is definitely something to look into uh, price-wise, and they're they're decent quality. Like, if you're looking for a, a budget-friendly stick that's still good, Five Vegas fills that perfectly. They're, they do make, and they do make some higher-end ones as well. Um, kind of like Gurkha. You know, Gurkha on one end, you know, you'll hear people say, oh my god, Gurkhas are horrible. And then on the other end, you'll say, oh my god, some Gurkhas are fantastic. In fact, if you look up on the internet, I don't know if it's still accurate, but as of a couple years ago, if you looked up the world's most expensive cigar, it was a Gurkha. Um, and I will tell you, I've had some Gurkhas that I think are horrible, and I've had, like, the War Pig is an amazing cigar. So I think that's true with a lot of brands, but I can tell you it's definitely true in the Five Vegas. So if you get, like, the gold... If you got like the Connecticut Gold series of the Five Vegas, those are really mild, mellow Connecticut's. Those are great for a beginner. And then if you want to move up into like this cast strength, um, you get you're getting a lot more more flavor. It's like I said, it's a little peppery, woody. You're getting you can taste there's more oil in it. You can taste it's a, like a Maduro. And for the price, eh, not bad. Anyway, that was it. I just want to make it really, you know, kind of a quickie and just let you know that if you haven't done it yet, go out and buy a box press cigar, especially if you can find one in the brand or series that you already like and they happen to make a box press. Pick one of those up and, and see what you think the difference is. Um, I think it'd be really 
I mean, especially now that you're going to be thinking about it critically, like really looking for it, you'll start to notice that the draw is amazing on a box press. Um, I do agree the flavor is very even, and I think that's because of the blend of the smoke and the, and the air. And uh, it does smoke cooler. I think those things are all true. I mean, there's, there's a reason people are saying this, and these are some people that are in the cigar world that know what they're talking about. Anyway, that'll just about do it. Eric and SoCal Cigars, go get yourself a box press cigar, give that a shot, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, if you like them or don't like them, or what your experience has been in the past, or if you happen to do it and you see a difference, let me know what you found out. I'd be interested to find out what you thought. So, anyway, Eric SoCal Cigars, I will see you on the next video. Take it easy, and go smoky cigar. Enjoy.